Hey guys, and welcome to this guide, how to start optimally in Captive Industry. I'm going to go through kind of the mechanics of the game, some tips and tricks, and kind of what I think is the most um, efficient build. So we're going to start a new game. If you're a new player, I recommend starting New Haven. Um, you don't have to change any of the settings. Um, they're pretty good for a new player. So I recommend just launching a new game, but feel free to play Captain if you want that extra challenge. Okay guys, we're in the game here. So I'll just quickly explain to you um, the values along the top and we'll make our way across. So population is the number of people in your settlement. Um, and then the one beside it or below it in this one is the total number you can have. So the important thing is you always want to make sure that um, the, the population does not exceed the capacity. As if you get homelessness, it will affect the health of your people. Um, it will decrease your health and it will decrease your unity. So um, here you can see your unity cap, your number of settlements, and if there's any diseases. Health is a, is a similar, I guess it's the same view, but um, health is um, affected by pollution, overcrowding, um, the quality of water, as well as any diseases that are running through. Then unity. We'll talk about this a little bit more, but Unity is a resource used throughout the game. It's kind of like almost like a superpower in a way. So it's really good to use Unity only when you have to. And the last one here is Stable. So anytime this changes from Stable to Busy, you need more trucks and you want new more trucks right away. Um, if it gets to very busy or extremely busy, you're really going to be in, in, in some tough shape. Um, so you really want to make sure it's uh, stable and you always want to try to have a couple extra trucks. Trucks that are sitting vacant are fine. So trucks only use pet diesel when they move. So having extra trucks just sitting doesn't hurt and that's actually sometimes more efficient. because You're not having trucks driving all the way across the map. So having those trucks doesn't hurt. So um, these ones a bit more explanatory. Number of months you have food for, the number of workers, if your um, ship is docked or not, and the number of vehicles over the capacity. And there are ways to increase the capacity later on. Um, so the only other thing I'd say is the workers is kind of derivative of your population. So if you need more workers, you need more population. So the first biggest thing that I see um, Tutor's not doing is showing you to build a ton of research stations. So you can build, you should build lots of these at the start. I build nine. Uh, anywhere, anywhere six and above is good. I'm sorry. Sorry, it was, wasn't counting. I build nine, build at least six. You're not, you don't really lose anything building um, less than six. So then we're going to also, um, sorry. You want to build a waste collection right away as well um, for tree harvesting I recommend harvesting all the trees up here because then you can just move your houses straight up that's what I do at least um, this area isn't really used too much so anytime you can use areas that don't have resources the better you don't want to use say like this for housing you know what I mean? Anywhere there's little bars, you don't want to use that for housing. And by the way, so there's the layers. You can click here, hit L. This tells you where all the resources are in the map. So here we have our oil, coal, this is groundwater, iron, um, and then this is also stone. And that's that. Yeah. It, must, it doesn't show on the side, but I'm, pretty, I'm sure that's stone, um, coal, copper. Um, so then your limestones all across there, and then um, sand, sand, um, and then more coal and iron and stuff. And then at the very back is the gold ore, a bit further away. And then the shores, obviously, are sand. So there's plenty of sand to be had. And then trees being the other resource. Okay. So anyway, you cut those up. Um, just so for people aren't aware, you can assign trucks to your tree harvesters, um, but we're not going to be doing that. So some tutorials will show you or tell you to 
um, sorry, it's here. Use coal makers. Do not use coal makers. Um, coal makers are absolutely horrible. So I'll tell you why. They use 20 wood, which is a lot of wood actually, to make four coal, okay? You make a mining area, you, um, <laughs> you get like eight to 12 coal per scoop. So um, early game, you can trade wood directly for concrete, which is really, really helpful. So um, you don't want to um, be tuning wood, which is valuable, into a coal, which is abundant. Also, there's only so much wood on the map. Um, I've never run out, but there is only so much. So if you turn it into coal, you're going to have less. The other big thing is this makes 16 pollution, which is actually a lot of pollution. If you look at the blossphorus, it only makes six. So this is 16. That's almost three times as much per operation. Um, so you and you're not you can it's hard to control pollution so you really don't want to be doing that okay so we got those so we can let's go quickly make sure we got everything we can probably hit play yeah okay so i'm gonna go into research and the first thing so the reason we're not gonna even bother with coal is you can right away get the mining control tower like and within seconds we'll have this um, we're going to go construction f next. Um, farming, trade dock. You need to get power maintenance. You have to. Um, concrete. Storage, because I want storage. Then we'll get beacon, then diesel. Basics, the loose storage is really, really useful. Really, really important. Uh, okay, so we can... I'm just gonna pause. I like having it paused when I'm building stuff. It's just easier. Um, so, um, so I'm gonna show you guys something. So, sorry. So you, the blast furnace, if you see here, it uses iron and coal to make um, liquid metal, and it use make creates pollution. So you want to put this ideally between these two, but I don't like to interrupt my groundwater. So right here, so place down. But then you go, oh, if I wanted to put my metal things here, guess what just happened? These are backwards. But you can use cut. So X is the cut. Um, it's all here if you need to check it. Cut, copy. So cut. Sorry. And flip it. Done. These ones too. I had them wrong way. Flip it. Done. Okay. Always, um, so think of this game like fa Sass Factory. Don't think of it, or sorry, well, I guess like Sass Factory or like Factorio. You want to be hooking up your buildings. So I want to make space here for my inputs. So then these are my outputs. So I also want to make a keep space here for my outputs. So smokestack here, good. Okay, so if I wanted to copy this and duplicate it, I'd use the copy tool, so let's see. And yeah, I can instantly duplicate this. So unlike other games where they make you unlock a blueprint feature, you have it right from the get-go. So that's very nice. Um, so, so we're going to close the layers. So, um, so then recycling. It talks about that in the introduction. Um, so recycling. So this is very important. This communication station has a ton of concrete, ton of um, electronics that you're going to use. Um, you have some stuff by default in here. I mean, you never want to hit this, by the way, th that dumps the resource, so you never want to do that. Um, so, some more information, F cities use food as inputs and they make trash or waste as outputs. Some people will tell you to make dumps. So they'll say, oh, make a big dump. Don't make a dump. It's it's so easy. Oh, sorry, I wanted to get rid of that before the dump. Okay. Um, because it's so easy to get loose waste management. Like I said, we're going to rush to loose waste management. Um, this shouldn't fill up. If you're doing my research message, there's no way you'll have 200 trash um, before you upgrade um, to loose waste. Um, so if and even if you do, just build another waste cracker. It's fine. So we got our research up. You might notice we're in negative unity. That's fine for now. Um, it's per month, it's not a big deal. We can always delete these after, and we will be, because we'll need a positive 
one unity for beacons. Beacons use one unity. Um, but like I said, we're just starting off, saves you tons of time. Like we're already in March and we already have, um, I guess there's one research done, but hey, <laughs> other people wouldn't even have near that. So, um, so yeah, I think it's gonna fill it with iron scrap because we don't have coal, it's not gonna start yet. Oops, sorry. And like I said, we did have vehicles finished so we can put down our mining control towers. So you do wanna be careful where you put in mining control towers because if you dig underneath them, they'll become unsteady. So you don't wanna put them too close to where you're gonna be mining, but you want them close enough um, vehicle depot. I find the placement of this is really finicky. Try to place it somewhere where it's not in the way of some of your mining and stuff. Um, so I am going to probably put it in the groundwater um, here. So you want it close enough to where your oops. Want it close enough. I'm trying to make something that can be a line, but it's not really good. But you want it close enough to your manufacturing that you're not hauling it a long distance. But you also don't want it to get in the way. So, okay. So we're going to build that. Um, you can always change the construction priority by changing it to one. You can also um, do a quick deliver if you really, really want it done quick, or you can do prioritize. So those are just a couple things. Um, I do not recommend using Unity unless you just really, really have to, because it's it's good. So a couple things here. So now we can see our, our health is 10%. Um, I think that's just the basic oh sorry our growth is 10 percent because of our health because we have base health and we have no negatives um we're getting a bonus from our food and a health bonus also so we can see we're using so we're getting um net 1.97 unity we're using 2.25 so we're below 2.28 but like i said that's fine so, um, got the trade dot. What did we just finish? Base vehicle mining, base, base farm. All right, perfect. Okay. So we can make our farm. So you want to make your farm as quickly as possible because you want to start getting food as quickly as possible. So farms, I always recommend building them as close as possible. Um, you can always delete them after. I don't think groundwater helps your farm, so I don't think you have to build farms on groundwater. Um, I think it's only when it rains. However, later if you're making irrigated farms, you have the irrigation right beside your farm, which is then you're not hauling water. So, so we got our vehicles, we got our kids. So we can start our construction. Um, we're just gonna make. I can just play it because we can be at the fast speed. Okay, so we want to have space there for everything. So I'm going to go with four there. So we can start out with one of everything. Okay, so still waiting for material delivery. We can adjust the priority. So then they should prior towards this highly you can and you can actually click on stuff to see where they're going so going to the farm so I find unfortunately they don't always give you a huge priority for vehicles even if you set it to one I don't know why it's and there's no way you can actually like increase um, the need but we have enough trucks that it's they should be focusing on at some point this guy should be heading there yeah i was gonna say this guy's heading there he has 20 vehicle parts we need 30 so we will have to take another trip but we should have everything we need here unless we don't have iron oh, maybe we don't have iron anyway Oh, you even start with some coal. I forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, even another reason not to um, get the coal creators. You have coal. I meant to mention that and I totally slipped my mind. Okay, so we can make 
Actually, no, we're not gonna, because we want to save our iron for making our our excavators. So the neat thing is you can actually build stuff even if some materials are lacking, which is really, really neat, really, really cool. Okay, so now we are above. So just make one of each is what I recommend with the beginning. We're not gonna have enough workers because we have a ton of workers here. So we can actually start um, dismantling these because we're, uh, sorry. I use a delete key in the keyboard. We're gonna delete just till we have enough workers. See, now we have an excess of workers, so we're good. Because it is good to get these things kind of starting, fill them up. And afterwards, I'm gonna change these. So these are actually afterwards gonna change into all construction parts. Uh, but it's just good to get yourself a few, few things early on. So you see, we're taking from here because we're at the beginning, you're just be using iron scrap rather than using iron ore, but you do, you do want to start with the ore relatively soon. Um, oh, sorry. And we can assign some trucks here. I'm, just, I'm going to assign two trucks or we probably don't need two. We probably only need one for now until we can start doing four, unless we want to start four at a time already. Um, hmm. We could. So I'm gonna give a bit of space. We're gonna go one, two. Do we have these backwards? No, oh, we have these all built backwards. Well, that's <laughs> my bad. So once they're built, you can't flip them. Unfortunately, so. Some, okay, so we got our first excavator here. Assign it, assign a truck. And then I'm not sure if this is the best way to do mining, but this is the way I like to do it um, at the beginning. So I like to go down to whatever the ground level is and just mine down to the ground level. I just find it's, the, the trucks and stuff aren't driving up and down pits and whatever else. Sometimes when you, you have to really like um, confirm, because sometimes when you go back, it will want to go to zero. This is how it seems to be. But yeah, see, there you go. So now this excavator is going to go there. We're going to assign a truck, or we already did. Good. So now that truck's going to go straight, and it's just going to make trips back and forth. So we're good there. Did we get loose? Oh, no, we're going to get loose right soon. So once you get loose, the whole game, whole game opens up to you. Um, trade dock. So let's do that, clear it. The nice thing is you can, once you start getting stuff, you can see what you've gotten. We have got our unit storages, but we still waiting for people to deconstruct these. That was my bad. I guess if I put down another four down here, it would probably make it a lot easier for them. So why don't we do that? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Make sure we have the right way this way. Four. Okay. Hopefully that will. So that's the thing, once you add any amount of trucks to, oh, and me. Oh, they're also making stuff there too. And we can fill, once you fill, I recommend filling your queue all the way with trucks. So I think they're just waiting for somewhere to put these parts. So now they're gonna put them here. Cause they don't have anywhere to deposit these parts. So they're not gonna take apart these buildings um, until there's somewhere to put the resources so so yeah they cost 19 we're getting 14 back so that's not the end of the world it's not great you don't really want to lose <laughs> so but 
is what it is. So a good reminder for us to really watch. So now we're going to make all of these construction parts. And these ones will be the other pieces we need. Oops, sorry. We only needed three. We can actually stop that one then. Because yeah, we only need one of each. So we got machine parts, vehicle parts. Oh no, is there four? No. Electronic, oops. Machine parts, vehicle parts, and then this should just be electronics. Okay, we're good. Oh, I didn't run out of parts. We should have lost, yeah. Still have 293. Okay, so concrete mixing. You can't really start concrete mixing until you have some kind of rock. And you can't get rock basically till you get storage. So. So basically the best place you're going to get rock is from your mines here. Limest um, limestone, coal don't seem to give you too much rock and dirt. Um, so. And the other thing is it's actually worth um, getting efficient concrete before you even start doing too much concrete. So we'll rush towards that. Uh, but we do want to get our basic diesel first. So yeah, see, it's not working because we don't have anywhere to haul the dirt. Um, but we still have plenty of coal there. So we're not really hurting too bad there. We could duplicate this, which I think is probably a good idea. We just, I'm just waiting to get my loose building, which we just got. Perfect. Okay. So now this makes our life heck of a lot better. So loose. Loose. Um, let's move this over just a tiny bit, just to make it look a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna cut one of these. Put it there. Um, and then we can put our unit storages. Um, do we want to share one? I think that's probably wise. We'll just share one unit storage. Good enough. I think that's close enough. Perfect. So this is our setup. So now we can actually copy that. That's going to use 198. So the nice thing about doing this too is it tells you how much resource it's going to use. So we only have 216. That will use 198 to what we have. So we do not want to do that. Um, another thing we can do here is um, we're going to put here and this is going to be our wood storage. So you always have to tell everything what you're storing in it. So wood up here this is going to be iron, obviously. This is going to be slag. This is going to be um, iron. This is going to be um, coal. Okay, so now that's all set up. Um, so we are going to need... Now let's put it up here. That's ground water, though. Um, yeah, here's fine. Um, Put it facing upwards. And this is going to be dirt. And there you go. So we got, okay, so now we're really hurting on workers. Um, so we get the, yeah, we're close again, beacon. So we'll hold off on, okay, it's fine. It's just the factories too that, I don't even think these factories are working because we probably don't have enough. See, our, our things are already very busy. And we already have two trucks there, so I don't really want to assign another truck. Um, so we can assign here. I'm not going to assign any anybody else. I don't think this takes any workers, does it? No. So same idea with here. Mine. And good, it already has my thing. and. There you go. So then it can start 
but my it's gonna it's gonna error because it says no ca capable truck, no place to dump, no capable truck. But like I said, we're we're on the way. We're making. We just you know what I mean. We just stuck on things. So cutting trees closer to your area can be good. So later on, I'll probably cut trees over here. This is also a good place to cut trees because um, of your oil. So. Begin game, you try best. So now it's raining, that provides water for our farm. So now our farm's gonna start growing. So that's why um, you wanna get your farm right away. So then you uh, get, so we got beacon. Pretty sure at least we got beacon. So we wanna build that and prioritize it. So I build the beacon just right over here at the shore. Cause it's gonna be closest to where your copper is. So we're gonna set that as a priority. We're gonna put it, okay, so it all maxes sets the priority. Why do we do that? Then we, so we're gonna need one total unity for this. Um, so we don't wanna go below, so we're gonna wanna delete four of these. So we're far enough in our research, not a big deal to lose four of these. Because basically we just gotta go to construction two Get these two, go to construction two, and then get efficient concrete. Um, which also means you need groundwater pump to get the water, but I think there's a close groundwater here, isn't there? Yeah, right here. Actually, probably better to get it from here. So. So yeah, you can see our trucks are extremely busy, but we are making more and we have a high priority set to it. So, okay, so that's a dirt dump. So now this is working again because um, whenever it fills with dirt, you now can dump it here. So we will have to get one for rocks here shortly. I just have to think of where, how, how we want to set up all our concrete as well. So one thing you can do also, and then we'll call it an episode here, um, is go into planning mode. So if you go here, planning mode is really neat, nice area. So you can just plan out what you're gonna do. Because for rocks, you need a crusher. So and also we gotta plan out where the water, so water's gonna come from here. And I don't, again, don't really wanna waste a bunch of water or like base a bunch of groundwater area if I need it later on. And there's lots of space, so. Uh, okay, so crusher, I think that's fine there. So again, anything in planning mode is not gonna be built until you kind of um, tell them to it. So, okay, we're gonna, I wanna make sure I'm kind of lining up. So this one is higher too, so I'm gonna give a little bit of space and then we can make sure that we're oh sorry we don't have loose channels yet either so i have to get oh okay that's part of the that's part of the conveyors and belt research so we're gonna have to get that as well but again we can we can work towards efficient concrete so put that after groundwater pump fuel stations are really good too um, they're later game, but they stop your trucks from having to drive. So basically, if one of my excavators or trucks runs out of fuel, they got to go all the way here and refuel here. Um, so. so the reason we're not using this is we don't have um, this blast furnace isn't using iron ore yet. Um, so we can actually, yeah, so we're just planning this out. Um, so, so yeah, so this is going to go, so I actually built this backwards as well. <laughs> so make sure when you place this, you want the green arrows, um, facing the correct direction. But yeah, so I think this is a good start for you. Gives you kind of an idea of how to get all set up and, um, how to lay everything out. Um, so once you get the beacon, oh, one more thing, sorry. Once you get the beacon, it uses power. Um, I recommend putting your diesel generator 
near your oil. So oil is here, so we're going to put our diesel generator. Um, not super close, you don't want to obs obscure your oil. Actually, can you pump it? Yeah, you can pump it. So you could actually do it in a way. I haven't actually done this yet, but it's worth doing. You can pump directly into these. So rather than having your trucks have to fill them, um, you can pump right in. And the nice thing about pipes is they're really cheap. Pipes are really cheap. So let's actually put it over there. There you go. There you go. So now to do that, we'll make it priority. And then um, we'll start getting. Oh, we don't have anybody to work there too. So one thing you can do is if you're out of workers, I'm just fine with these. Are all these working? Not one of these is. You can pause it. So if you pause it, the workers will go back into your pool and they'll then be disputed into somewhere else. So once we build this, we're gonna start getting refugees and the nice thing, refugees um, bring people. So I actually did get a population because just from, um, reproduction but remember once you start getting population too you have to start worrying about building more settlements anyway guys thanks for coming and we'll see you in the next one later